Hello everyone. Now we know few assumptions could be used throughout mathematics and are called axioms. So let us see few more axioms. If we put this blue triangle over this yellow triangle then they will coincide means they are same in all aspects. So these two triangles have the same area, same perimeter, same angles, same side lengths etc. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. At times you must have put one tile over another tile just to see whether they are same or not. So the axiom seems to say that if two things are identical that is they are the same then they are equal. We know that 3 fourth is less than 1 because we divided an object into 4 equal parts and took only 3 parts that is 3 out of 4. Same way 15 by 16 is less than 1 because the whole is greater than the part and it's the another axiom. Even 62 by 63 is less than 1 that represents the whole object because a tiny fraction is missing from 1 to make it 62 by 63. Thus whole is always greater than a part. That's why we say proper fraction is always less than 1. Now here we see water in the left hand side glass is twice or double the amount of water in the right hand side glass. Also the water in the bowl is also twice or double the amount of water in the right hand side glass. This means the amount of the water in both the glass and the bowl is same as both are double the amount of water in the half filled glass. And this is what Euclid's axiom says. Things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. Let's cut a watermelon into two halves. What can you say? Well, the two halves are equal to one another. And this is Euclid's another axiom which says things which are halves of the same things are equal to one another. That's all for now. We will continue with Euclid's postulates in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.